it's really sensitive topic to talk about, so I'm a little worried, and I hope that you guys don't get the wrong idea or we're too forced to think this way. So just I'm trying. This 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 presentation is about I'm questioning you guys, mm. trying to you know uh, make you guys think that thing. I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> The thing that you guys never even thought of before. So don't feel offended or anything, so just try to think, you know, what it's like. So uh, I put a title as a form of artistic performance of, or erotic performance. So pull dance, every, everybody knows about pull dance, right? So I put the pull here. And uh, yeah, everybody thinks it's some kind of erotic performance, so things that a stripper would do uh -huh. at the bar to make money, you know? <laughs> That's how people think. So I'm going to go from there to reality the, the nowadays. So the context would be the history, I'm going to start with the history and the aspect of the current performance, which means the, the art lately, pulled as lately. And what is an art? I'm going to question you guys one more time. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk about other artistic performance. And then I'm going to show the video and then that will be my presentation. So, the first one, a form of artistic performance or erotic performance. So, you know, if you, everything is based on the pole dance. So, when you guys think of pole dance, do you think it's an artistic performance or the erotic performance? Which one do you think it is? I'm gonna actually ask you boys. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Yes? No? <laughs> yeah? Yes, for reason? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a form of artistic performance, but it's used as an erotic oh, performance. Oh, so fine. So, <laughs> so, yeah, everybody probably at first think. Maybe it is artistic, maybe it's the rotate, you know, somewhere in between. So, what is pull? I'm gonna, you know, stick with the thought and then think of what is pull. So, pull is practiced by both men and women. So, it's a fusion of other pulls. So, the thing is, it's a guy, and it's a yeah, girl. I try not to be racist. Mm -hmm. So, I put both of the gender. Yes. So, this pull is the thing that we have in mind. So, that's a combination of the other pools in different countries. So this is yeah, the current one. And uh, okay. So I'm gonna start with the China pool. So Chinese pool. pool. So um, this is their pool. It's really different than what we think it is. So they are not doing any sexy dance. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically doing some kind of circus. So it started the 12th century, and then they are doing it for a circus or any pro professional activity. So, and the other one is Indian pole. So Indian pole is started like over 800 years mm -hmm. ago, and then in I don't know what to say, Maharashtra mm -hmm. is Indian, <laughs> and then it's usually used for wrestlers to train because as you know pole dance you need a lot of muscles and the flex flexibility so this is a picture of this anyway did you guys see cats? <laughs> 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 Times and Persian times, so that is how um, the American, let's say, their poetry started. So they started ex uh, sorry, yeah, exotic dance, and um, if we read, uh, or it just uh, made a little thick, uh, the bold, bold letter, American Depression in the 1920s, they started doing the erotic movement. So you can think that, yeah, is that more here that, you know, American depressions, the Great Depressions. 
So they were all depressed because they didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. So people tend to go really, you know, tend to drink a lot, you know, spend for, spend money a lot, and then go bad with the females. So that's how they used pole dancers. So they try to entertain crowds, which is probably guys, and then yeah, suggestive dancing. So that's how it started to be a erotic. Everything. So, uh, there is a little more. <laughs> there is. Oh. A, it's okay. I can okay. explain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there is a little explanation about a girl who started a pool dance, mm -hmm. the record of the first pool dancer. But if the, the pool dance started way back here, but they have a record back here. So. Uh, the woman got, I don't know how she ended up, but she ended up making a school for the or a pole dance. Yeah, so this is the picture of, okay, I hope you catch. You kind of catch. <laughs> <laughs> there is a picture for the pole dance school. Pole dance, uh, yeah, that's how uh, it started getting popular and popular. So the next one, oh, you catch. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. So nowadays, um, it's really, you know, you can find any place a pole dance studio. So even in Korea. So the pole dancing and pole fitness classes, mm -hmm. studios, academies, competition, training spaces, opening worldwide. So it's really good for diets. That's why women are doing it. And uh, it's, yeah, it's quite fun, I heard. So this is the general picture for people practicing. And they are not pole dancers, they are just general people. Mm -hmm. So I want to also say that mm -hmm. pole dancers it requires a lot of muscle work yeah. and flexi flexibility. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they are trying to put it as an Olympic, mm -hmm. Olympic, yeah. one of the Olympic uh, games. So they're really trying hard, and then the Olympic, the company are really considering of, of putting the pole dance as one of the uh, play. So yeah, they but they haven't said yet. But so yeah, they are still seeking for it. Mm. I'm struggling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, next one. So since we already gone through the you know all the. All those basic ideas. I wanted to say, what is art? Why did I bring importance as an art? That's the question. It's a dance. It's not an art. Some people might say that, but I decide to say what is an art first. So I typed that what is art on the Google, and then they have a uh, you know a lot of list of saying what is art. So there are what is art. You know multiple forms or even there is uh, multiple cases of work. So fine, visual, plastic, mm -hmm. you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of words. So we can't really deny, and I'm not denying, define, mm -hmm. define what is art. So I decided to go through the a little short form of uh, definition. So it is, we usually tend to call the beauty and an aesthetic as an art. So when we see things and they say, oh, this is beautiful, then we say, it's an art. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say that, it's not mm -hmm. always them. So there was a girl um, from the TED, she decided to ask people, what is art to you? So this is, she put a basic definition. So it's, um, yeah, it's, she said that human creative skill and imagination as such as painting or sculptural things like that. So she was questioning people, what is not to you? So, you know, if such a question, controversial question comes up, people tend to just ignore and like, I don't know, I'm gonna just look for the answer later. But but interesting point is there are tons of you know, thing, uh, answers that you put it on here. So there was a little debate going on. So a lot of people think of art as their, based on their um, opinion and experiences. So I pointed one interesting um, idea out. So I think I'm okay.
so that was the one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's I remember it's about one person saying even a communication can be an art. Mm -hmm. So for example, just general talk is not an art because we can go from here to there and it's, it can be art but he doesn't consider it as an art. Mm -hmm. But for example, if um, let's say I'm a teacher and you go as a student and I'm giving you a lecture, mm -hmm. but sometimes you think that I'm giving a really good lecture when I don't struggle and when I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. But sometimes I just go from here, there, like me talking about some pets and me talking about only a chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then come back to the you know point and like okay let's start talking about the art and then go back to chocolate topic. It's not a good you know communication. I'm not giving you a good lecture. So giving a good lecture without you know um, going off topic, it could be an art. He said because he will be so much um, so touched by my lecture or something like that. I don't know, I just thought it was really interesting, so I just wanted to brought up. I'm not trying to do anything that this is an art. Well, even the you know, conversation without points could be art, could be part of the art. So, I decided to yeah, bring some other art performance with a physical activity. So, this is ballet. We think everyone thinks that ballet is such a beautiful art. And then, this is just a physical art that decided to be some kind of bird here. So, she's staying still, but it's a, as an art too. And yeah, she is probably dancing, but this is an art as well that we can easily find. And this is a street dance, it's a big art. It wasn't, but now people are start taking it as a serious art. And that is a ballet dance. Similar case with the pole dance, but it's also considered as an art. So I think that if you boys don't really object with the picture saying, oh, ballet is not, not an art, then I can't really say much. But I think it's an art. So, And then everybody pretty much agreed. So I was questioning, what's the differences with the pole dance? Well, dance is also an you know, art like ballet. It's actually a combination of ballet and um, I don't know, just a dance. And then plus um, muscle works because you got to hold the pole it's really steady. So I brought uh, one, one video that is over three minutes, but I'm gonna play right away and then I'm gonna. You know, I want you to guys think, is that an art or is that just, you know, erotic movements? So let's see.
on that. <laughs> it's a lot different than what you guys used to have an idea of, right? So when I saw this video, um, it's, a, it's a famous Tinker song, Loxen, and I was thinking, oh, this could be, you know, maybe change your chorus, push back a little deep or dance. So I'm not trying to drag the, uh, the um, conclusion of is pole dance an art or not? Or is that a, maybe if it's an art, is that an artistic performance or is that just erotic performance? That's why I brought the history of the pole dance because it didn't start from the first as a um, as, uh, as a, uh, erotic erotic performance, but it changed time to you know as time goes by and hit the uh, Great Depression and then it kind of changed the its uh, main reason, but it still even after like a few uh, decades later. It's still there are people doing the pole dance as an art and I really want to believe that this is a, a piece of a little short clip of an art, uh, artistic art. So yeah, hopefully it kind of challenges you guys' thoughts and maybe change it, I don't know. <laughs> and that will be my um, yeah. presentation and those are the reference that I brought and so if you want to go through it, it's always welcome to. And thanks for the Thank you. Thank you so much.